Welcome to Project Summer, guys. I know I asked you yesterday if you wanted to see more, and, um... Well, I'm hoping you did, because you're gonna get some more. Uh, I'm having to record a little bit ahead because of uh, some family issues. I hope you understand. So, I, I'm, I'm uh, quite a few days, uh, maybe even a week, uh, ahead of you, or behind you or however that goes uh, but we are going to play another round of um a project Sunboy and, and see if we can do a little bit better than surviving well five and a half days or so so solo survivor we are going to choose some mods again and we're basically going to go with the same mods that we did last time uh, extra symbols extra map symbols so it, it's it's really going to be exactly the same so you can skip over this bit if you, if you know what what mods we're going with uh, so yeah uh, yeah uh, map legend UI mod manager no more watches, paper ribbons, sleeping bags, uh, primitive survival, uh, Raven Creek, even though we'll probably never make it there, scrap armor, guns, and weapons, two actions, Manila firearms, and West Point expansion. So those are the mods, I believe yeah yep those are the mods so the game's just gonna reload a second okay the game's reloaded we're going to play survivor we're going to start in i think we'll start in riverside no actually you know what we'll, we'll start in rosewood again we know a little bit of the area now we're gonna play an, an as an unemployed uh well uh, as a chubby smoker Chubby Smoker, <clears throat> we're going to play as. And we'll play as uh, Clinton Purvis, I think, this time. So this is how Clinton died. Let's jump in. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Yep. Well, last time I died by wanting a duffel bag. <laughs> Let's not make that mistake again, shall we? And even more so because, as it was pointed out, I actually found a duffel bag in the first episode without seeing it. So, yeah. Double, uh, double dummy, you might say. Okay, uh, we are starting. Oh, okay. I think I know where we are. I don't know how there's a zombie in here already because we're in the same building. And normally there are no zombies in the building you start in. But apparently this time there is so we will just have to take her or him out all right a digital watch uh, we'll wear that on the left wrist uh, we'll definitely wear the bulletproof vest we'll wear the holster and it definitely looks like uh, we're in the police station and we don't really need anything else from Ooh, house key house key to the police station i like that okay so let's uh clear this out we really do need to find a weapon we do not have a weapon but we should have the key to everything now that we have the house key and that's a wonderful thing 
So we can go in here and take a look. Nothing but maybe there's something good in here. Uh, there's nothing in these counters. These counters do not exist. Okay, that's great. Nothing. Nope. I, there really shouldn't be a zombie in here. Even though we just found one, so we have to be a little bit careful. I mean, we, we started out by having a zombie scratching at the window inside the building that we were in as well. Which, frankly, doesn't bold well. Bode well. Bold? Bold. Bold well. All right. Well, we have a, a weapon. We have a weapon, so that's good. We have a nightstick. Ooh, matches. And another nightstick. We'll attach that to the other side of the belt. Aviator glasses. Let's wear those. Have to look cool, right? And uh, the, the crossword magazine just enforces the cool. I mean, how cool is a crossword magazine? I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than that. Another nightstick. That is insane. And another nightstick. More matches. Wow. Well, we have weapons for days. Pistol. We can't carry all this stuff. Tactical walkie-talkie, a lighter. Well, we're already overweight. So I think we're going to have to come back to the police station because I know exactly where we are. I know exactly where we are. And quite frankly, we don't want to live here. But the wonderful, wonderful fire station that we found last time and never really got to live in is right over here. Right, you be dead. Watchridge map. And we might need to drop one of these nice nightsticks um, just to not be overweight that we're not killing ourselves we can come back and get him don't want them under that body though because i'll never find them then let's pick those up for a second and just drop them here we can see them now right we know where they are kind of well there are a few guys to kill. Whoa. Hey, hey, get away. All right, you're down. Nothing interesting on you. There are just some angles that are not good for fighting. All right, let's stand on him. Okay, they be dead. Butter knife, don't need that. We have nightsticks. Man, there are a lot of zombies over here. But we're going to have to work our way through them to get some kind of home. And the best kind of home, really. More matches. This is awesome. Oh, you, come here. All these nightsticks, they really help out. They're, they're a really good weapon. They're a really good weapon. Okay. Down you go, lady. There's someone with uh, fireman pants. Though she looks like a fire lady and not a fireman. They all be dead. Uh, Lactic, Rich Watch, Firefighter Helmet. Uh, 
military boots. We'll just drop those on the ground for now, I think. All of these things. Just so they don't rot up with the bodies. There we go. And on we go. Towards our home, which is the fire station right here. This is wonderful. Annotated map of some kind. Maybe I should stomp her first before I start searching her. Yep. Oh, wait. There was a leather jacket there. Let's just drop that on the ground. We'll try and clear this area. I know we haven't watched TV yet. It's travesty. But now we're just trying to secure this area. On there, we doesn't really matter with the magazine. A couple of nice cars here, more zombies, and now we're thirsty. So let's fight these guys and then we'll call it quits for now, anyway. On the zombie fighting. Take it in the face. Okay, you're dead. Uh, let's see. Helmet. Firefighter pants. Military boots. Uh, military boots. Firefighter pants. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's check out the fire station and see if this would be a good place to live, which we kind of know that it will be. Uh, secondary. We've been here before. It will definitely be a decent place to set up shop. We won't loot anything just now because a point yeah, what we will do is have a drink of water and drink okay what's on here yeah it's fine okay well it's almost the same start as last time uh, last time didn't go too well so who knows about this one Damn it. Alright. Let's run. We don't want them to break the windows. Don't break the windows, please. Ah, oh, damn it. They broke the windows. Okay. One of them is an ankle grabber. Oh, they're dead. Stop breaking my windows! Alright. Well, we definitely need to port up some stuff. Uh, fire jacket, fire. Yeah, it's military boots. We'll just take it off them, just for safekeeping. Because it's much more safe on the ground than on a dead body. For whatever reason. Yep. Yeah. We'll read the maps and stuff later. Lady, hey, 
Come here. Right. Smack you in the face. Stomp you on the head. And rip you? Almost. We'll let you keep the pink frilly underpants and the strapless bra and the long socks. You look suchy. Okay. There's no one in here, it seems. Let's check up here. No. Right, we're getting a little hungry, so we should go head upstairs to the kitchen. Nope. Alright. How's our uh, nightstick doing? It's almost dead, but we have a second one. So we can replace it. No one in there. No one in there. Okay. No one in here? Nope. Alrighty. Um, let me know if it's a little bit too dark. I won't be able to do uh, and do anything about it in the first few episodes because... As I said, family things, uh, real life things, but if it is too dark, I can adjust the brightness a bit, or the gamma, or whatever it's called, uh, and we can uh, we can figure that out so that you can see what's going on, because uh, I find that it kind of helps with, uh, with videos that, you know, you can actually see what's happening. Uh, I, I've heard that said. Okay. Oh, duffel bag, duffel bag. Do not miss the duffel bag. Wonderful. We have a bag. Yay. I am very happy about that. All right. This is home for now, at least. And we need to go search the police station as well, because there are probably weapons in there that we want. Maybe more nightsticks, maybe other cool stuff. Uh, what do we have on us? We are actually overweight. Let's read the Marchwood map. Okay. Let's read the annotated map. That's Rosewood. Nice. Stash some guns up here. Here next and right here. Okay. Well, ends right here. That's probably not the best place to go. Uh, well, the fire station is down here. We have the police station there. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That just looks like some kind of house. Yeah. We'll keep the annotated map. The, um... Oh, there's a screwdriver. Mushroom map we can just put in there, I guess. But now... We know the lay of the land. Where's Martridge? Oh, it's just down there. Okay. Okay, that's not too far away. Cool, cool. Uh, let's take a quick look at... Oh, I forgot to eat when I was upstairs. Shovel, log wrench. Uh... Man, no axes? Oh, there was a sledgehammer, though. That's a very nice find. There's a sledgehammer there. That can be very useful for us. Very, very useful. Box of nails. Dead rat. All good stuff. All good stuff. Yeah, we're, uh, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We really are. Don't want to lose use the sledgehammer as a weapon, but as a tool. More firefighter stuff and military boots. Well, there's a hand axe. 
We'll grab that, I think. Metal pipe. Car battery charger. Club hammer, hammer, screwdriver, saw, garden saw, small box of screws. Okay, okay. I'm digging it. Uh, let's go grab some food. We don't need to eat right now, but it would be nice to have some on us. And we didn't check if there was any food here. Uh, let's check the fresh stuff. Fresh food. Oh, yeah. A couple of cheeses. Some corn. We'll grab that. Uh, the firefighter helmet we can actually wear. We don't have another helmet right now. And the firefighter helmet is pretty good. The tactical walkie. Um, let's place that here for now. But where are you going? Can we not place... Is that there? Okay. All right, uh, let's see. No emergency broadcast thing. But what we can do is we can drop some of our magazines and stuff. Um, the annotated map we will keep on us. The M9 pistol we can drop off for now. Scissors, box of nine millimeter rounds, the black little watch. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we have a lot of matches. We have a lighter. We have the hand axe. One of our nightsticks is about to go, so we'll keep the hand axe on us. Oh, damn it. Uh, drink and eat. Well, not so much eat, but drink. Drink. All right, we have found a lot of ways to light a cigarette, but no cigarettes yet. So that's something we're on the lookout for. We have our handbag, so you know what, let's, or our duffel bag. So let's put as much stuff in there as we can, like that. And the duffel bag, it's not the best bag in the game, but it's a its a decent bag, I'd say. It's a decent bag. Now let's close this door so they can't just wander in here through those broken windows that they decided to smash in their own firehouse. Um... Come on, close. Close. All right. Uh, let's go back over to the police station and check out what's here. We'll grab our two nightsticks there as well, because they're handy. Hey, lady. And we'll grab those two and we'll put them in the duffel bag. So the duffel bag has a pair capacity of 18, but I think it reduces the weight of everything by, is it 50%? I think it's 50%. So if you put it in there, it doesn't weigh as much. Oh. Hi. Just use the door, dude. There you go. See? If you'd used the door, that might not have happened. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did we check all these? I don't think we did. Not all of them, anyway. But most of them. 
because we got a lot of uh, nightsticks out of them. Nah. Mm, nah. Nothing there. The water cooler will be nice. Microwave, nothing in it. Nothing in there. All right. Um, let's head this way. Let's walk past stuff, see if there's anything in there. Hey, anyone in there? Nope. All right. We are hungry now, so let's eat all. That's just one of them, not both of them. No one in here. No one in there. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? It seems not. Okay, what do we have? Uh, lunchbox. Ooh, police minus motorcycle helmet. We'll grab that for sure. I'm not sure if it's better if than our firefighter helmet, but we'll see. Another one. Just loot it all, right? Uh, That's that there. Holster we already have. Grab the electronics there. Uh, more electronics. Ear protectors. Huh. Is that electronics? No, it's an accessory. Briefcase with nothing really in it i think all right oh. anyone there it's a way a hell of a way to lock on the bathroom door by banging it with your knife stick or night stick no one more locker stuff another night stick And another nightstick. We'll grab him. Aviator glasses. What are we wearing? Uh, we're wearing aviator glasses. Okay. So those aren't cooler. No one in here. Right. And then we're heading down here. Check out these rooms, which look interesting. Oi, look at that. Look at all that ammo and weapons. Wow! Wow! We're definitely bringing all this home. Not right now, though, because we can't carry it, but we can carry some of it. Um, not the most sexy things I chose to pick up there, but... Um... And that puts our swell overweight. I think we might wait to grab all this until we have a um, a vehicle. And we can grab the ammo, some of it at least. Should be okay, yeah. All right, we'll grab that 
Let's close the door. Lock the door. Just so no one goes steal goes stealing it. Though no one should be coming. Because we are the only living soul here. Except for the distant gunshots that you'll hear sometimes or whatever. But dang. Those were nice finds. And a really good start. Uh, while we're walking here, uh, let's take a look at that motorcycle helmet now. It's the same. The police motorcycle helmet is the same as our firefighter helmet. Okay. Well... This was an eventful day. A lot of good stuff found. Um, we have the beginnings of a home. And hopefully, now that we know the area a little bit, we, we, we know where we are. We know that uh, if we take a look at the map, when the chopper comes, we don't want to go that way. And we don't want to go this way, so we probably want to go north. Yeah, because we, we, we want to get away from humans, so maybe up here or something. Out into the wilds is the plan. Let's have a drink. We're only packaged, so that's fine. Uh, let's drop off a bunch of stuff. I think I'll drop off all the stuff that we found uh, in between episodes and in the next one we'll come back and uh, well first priority is car second is power in form of a generator because we already have a backpack well duffel bag but still it counts it counts so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoy uh, Project Sunbite. Let me know if you do down in the comments and by hitting the like button. And uh, I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.